I'm Bob Hilbelink. I've been at Dort at the end of this semester 33 years. And during those 33 years, I've taught mostly accounting courses. Uh, there were times when uh, we were lacking individuals in some areas that I also taught senior SEM. But, but generally, it's been in the area of accounting and income taxes. I can recall when I first came here, the Reverend B.J. Hahn was the president. And he always made the comment, we get good students here because they all come from good stock. And, and I got to realize that what he meant by that is they come from good Christian families. They have a good work ethic and they're, they're not ethically challenged. And so if we keep the textbooks current, we've got kind of a, an idea after I, I worked out there for about 20 years, I kind of know what they're looking for regarding a staff accountant. And so point the syllabus in that direction and then because of the type of student we have, get out of their way so we don't slow them down. Bob Hibbelink made sure that anybody who graduated from our accounting program was indeed ready for the CPA exams. You didn't get through accounting at Dort College without being thoroughly prepared professionally as well as with biblical insight into how you were going to carry out your responsibilities as an accountant in service of God's kingdom. I graduated from the University of Denver and for the next four years I was with, at that time it was known as Ernst & Ernst. What was that Ernst & Ernst at that time is now Ernst & Young. And I'm happy to say that we have a number of our grads that are going off in that direction. And of course that, that helps because when we call other firms and they're, they're interested in in what's going on with our Dort grads, we now have uh, quite a, a number going with um, Deloitte Touche in the Twin Cities, because a few years ago they hired a couple of our grads. And so this coming graduating class, two are going with Deloitte Touche in Minneapolis, again, because of former grads that they hired, and another one is going with uh, Ernst, and, Ernst and Young in, in St. Louis. That's encouraging. The fact that uh, we've placed uh, young people with the big four, and they come back again another year looking for more. One of the main reasons I came to Dort is I wanted to get involved in Christian education. I, I, I wanted to encourage students at a Christian college to enter the field of, of accounting because I just felt, just because of the type of work we do, where there's so much trust involved and so much dependence on our honesty and integrity that it, uh, I, 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 it was my hope to be a part of uh, getting more students out there into the secular world uh, as Christian accountants. Well, the flip side of that is it's had a good effect on me too, because working here with my peers, you know, in the administration and staff here at Dort, just super individuals, which has helped my, my uh, development in life, uh, both <laughs> on a personal basis and, uh, and uh, in my walk with God, yeah, it's been very good. It's been very good to me. I think Bob's uh, impact on the college has been uh, multifaceted. I know I took the business club uh, over from Bob way back when, and he promptly started uh, rummage around with the hockey team, and, and he and his wife spent a lot of happy, if not a little few, uh, exciting hours on the road with the with the club in the early days. Uh, he's been very. Uh, influential in establishing our alumni in some of the big, well, it's down to the big four accounting firms now. He's a very family-oriented man. He and his wife, Nancy, raised a family. Uh, he was always very caring, and he, and he still keeps the book for one of his sons and watches his grandsons play basketball. And I think to convey to all of us that our roles in church and community and family are important aspects of the college life. My wife was diagnosed with cancer in 1989. And of course, when you hear that word, you start to think the worst. But by the time it all came about, um, it's not that I don't miss her, but I was prepared for that situation in life. And, and I feel the same thing happening now. I'm gonna miss these folks. I really <laughs> enjoy being around these kids. But it's another phase of life that he's preparing me for. And, and in a way, I'm kind of looking forward to it uh, because plans can always change. But right now, I'm, I'm hoping that next year at this time, I'll be sitting out in Palm Springs, California, 
where I have a son in California and I have a daughter in, in Southern Oregon, so I'll be able to spend a little more time with them. When that day actually comes, it's not, they're not gonna have to drag me out of here kicking and screaming. Robert Hibbelink, we want to say thank you for setting a standard of excellence, enthusiasm, and dedication that our graduates and those who have studied with you will carry with them for the rest of their lives.